What's up, YouTube? AI is taking jobs from people. They took our jobs! Yeah, they're down! They're they're down. down. And this is causing panic across a lot of industries, including cybersecurity, where I work. And rightfully so. Now, 100 million jobs are predicted to be replaced by AI by 2025. Goldman Sachs has a report out that says upwards of 300 million jobs may be affected. And I've even seen some bigger numbers, such as 800 million jobs may be affected by AI by 2030. Those are crazy statistics. In today's video, we're gonna actually sit down and talk about what jobs are being affected already and what you can do to future-proof yourself, especially in the world of IT or cybersecurity, if you're a viewer of this channel, and where you go from here. So we're gonna take a quick break from our sponsor, and then we'll be right in to talk about AI and how to save our jobs. I wanna give a special shout out to today's sponsor, Sneak. Sneak is hosting an AI hacking session on July 25th, where you'll learn to use AI tools like ChatGPT and Copilot securely. What's cool is you're going to build out an application using AI, and then you're gonna hack that application and find vulnerabilities such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and more. Even cooler, you're actually gonna go in and fix those vulnerabilities and learn how to secure code that AI has written. Even cooler, cooler is if you are a member of ISC Squared, you will get one CPE credit for just attending the session. So it's free and it's virtual. All you gotta go to is the link in the description below, which is also on screen here. So we are starting to see quite a few jobs being replaced by AI already. And I found a really interesting post on Reddit. So this post asks, hey, those who actually had their jobs replaced by AI, what was the job? What was replaced? What do you do now? And some of the answers are very interesting. One of the top comments is this one here that said, I spent over 15 years writing website content for dentists, concrete companies, drilling companies, gossip sites, you name it. In other words, I unknowingly spent 15 years training language models. In late 2022, my boss discovered Jasper, decided he didn't need me anymore, and fired me. I now work in a warehouse. Here's another one. Video editor for several small YouTubers. My job was basically to turn videos into shorts and add captions with emojis. What replaced it? Tools like vsub.io with speech detection and auto captioning. What do I do now? Still video editing, but focus more on long form video. How to stop freelancing and got a job. That's life, I guess. Now this is a good one about adaptation and we'll come back to it. Another one here, not my job, I'm a doctor, but AI is starting to get pretty good at listening to patient encounter and drafting the encounter note. This would replace medical scribes. Subtitling. By the end, we were essentially proofreading AI captions, not found a new job yet. Okay, so what's the common theme here? We see a lot of entry level jobs getting replaced by AI. We saw a video editor, which is using AI for shorts, which is something that we actually do as well. There are tools out there that will make shorts for you, auto caption, everything else. Why pay somebody when you can pay a bot to do it? And it does it really effectively. And then same thing, you saw the medical scribe, for example, that's gonna be another industry that's gonna get turned upside down. Even marketing jobs we're seeing get replaced. AI can start doing SEO now, it can do copy, it can write blogs for you. And so we're not needing people to do these types of things. So what we're seeing is AI is taking a lot of entry level jobs. We're seeing this at places like fast food industry as well. We're seeing McDonald's and Wendy's starting to use AI. McDonald's has a completely digital kitchen where there's nobody there for you to actually interact with. I just drove by a restaurant, a Whataburger here in Texas, and it's completely digital as well. There's nobody there to interact with. It is very, very weird. And so we're seeing industries all across the board change and adapt to AI. Cybersecurity is gonna be no different. Now for these AI jobs that are being taken currently, they are very much so entry-level positions. And we're going to see that as AI adapts and gets better, perhaps we're gonna lose some of the other jobs as well. So how do we keep our jobs? Well, the post talking about adapting was really, really smart. Again, this person here, they lost their job doing short videos. But what do they do now? Still video editing, but now long form video. So if you're working in cybersecurity, like many viewers that are watching this channel, what do you do to stay ahead of AI? There are definitely jobs in cyber that are going to get replaced, especially in the next two to five years. The first roles that I can see really getting replaced are those of help desk. It wouldn't be very difficult to actually go and take data and train a model specific to a company 
and then start replacing help desk members, maybe the entire help desk team, depending on the company, to actually just be responded to by a bot instead. So if you've got a question about a product or something else, you can easily just go in and say, here's my question and a bot will respond to you. I'm already seeing this across other industries with help desks and I'm already seeing this across other industries with even like payment processing, things like that, where you just go in and say, here's my order number, I want a refund, or here's my order number, I have questions. And sure, there may be a way to get to a human, but they're using AI and chat bots first, which is going to take away jobs from other people that used to do this. It's already happening. So AI is going to continue to improve over time and more complex jobs will eventually be eliminated as well. So what do we do? Well, we have to adapt. This is just like any other industry. We have to stay on top of it. Cybersecurity is constantly changing. It's a cat and mouse game. There's new attacks, there's new defenses, and then there's new attacks to get around those defenses. And it's always been this way. It's always been a field of if you stay complacent or if you're not studying, if you're not learning, you are going to get left behind. This AI thing, not going away. So if you're not ready to adapt and learn how to use AI to make yourself better, you're going to get left behind. You need to stay ahead of the curve. So start embracing AI, start learning about it, start understanding what it can do, learn how it can help you. AI is a great assistant, it's a great tool, it helps me in my day to day. I literally use it every single day for something or another. I use it for writing emails, I use it for writing blog posts, I use it for scheduling, I use it for all kinds of things and it helps me tremendously to stay efficient. It also saves me a lot of time so I can actually then go study and stay ahead of the pack. So it's not a bad thing, right? And so you need to make sure that you're studying. One of the questions I get asked because I'm in cybersecurity is, is AI going to replace ethical hacking or pen testers? I don't think so, not in the next decade. So if you can get to a level of technical knowledge where you are comfortable and confident and ahead of the curve, you're going to be fine. If you're sitting in the entry level land right now, you are in danger. There's no doubt about it. You need to start looking at other jobs. You need to start looking at where you want to go next. Where do you hop from your current lily pad to the next one? And how do you get there? What's the path to take? So don't be complacent because complacency is going to get your job taken. You need to learn to adapt if you're going to survive this AI because it's not going to go away. So that's really it for this video. This video is just meant to serve as a PSA. Yes, I absolutely think AI is going to take jobs. It already is taking jobs. A lot of people are projecting this and I think it's accurate. However, there are ways to stay ahead of the curve. AI is not going to take every single job away from us. And as long as we are staying technical and we are studying and moving to the next thing and we are adapting to the changes that AI is putting in front of us, you're going to be just fine. So don't panic. So that is it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel, like, comment, let me know what you think. And until next time, my name is Heath Adams, aka The Cyber Mentor, and I do thank you for joining me. Peace out.